Yeah, Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton joins us now. Senator, good morning. It's great to have you on. It's not just Republicans that are criticizing this speech. You have Elise Slotkin in Michigan. She, she said no one in her district is talking about the threat to democracy issue. So what was the logic in having the president do this so close to the midterms? Yeah, you know, Carly, Joe Biden and the Democrats talk a lot about threats to democracy. I think they worry more about threats from democracy because they are fearful of the verdict that the voters are about to deliver on their failed ideological agenda. You know, as I travel around the country and this weekend I'll be out west in Washington and Arizona and Nevada campaigning for our great Senate candidates, you hear the same thing over and over again. We can't afford our food. Even if we could, we can't find baby formula. Our kids are being indoctrinated at school. The streets are not safe. Our borders wide open. We have a drug death epidemic, uh, and uh, we can't even produce energy here in America. That's all the direct result of Joe Biden and the Democrats' policies, and those policies and Joe Biden are going to get repudiated on Tuesday night. Senator, should it be abundantly clear to everyone by now that Joe Biden, despite what he said on January 20th of 2021, has no intention of uniting the country, and in fact, his policies and his orthodox you do exactly the opposite. Yeah, Todd, unfortunately, that's right. You know, I've got a new book out called Only the Strong when I explain how ideological Barack Obama and his understudy Joe Biden have been and that it's not accidental, it's not unintentional, it's not the result of bad luck. It's an intentional effort to undermine the sources of American power, like a strong and prosperous economy, like a strong military, and like American energy independence. Those are the things that voters want. That's why we're going to win big majorities on Tuesday. Senator, if Republicans regain control of the House and Senate, what can they do because the president still has veto power? What will the agenda be? Well, first off, Carly, we'll just put a stop to the madness. No more trillion dollars of spending bills that the economy doesn't need at a time we have record high inflation. Second, there'll be accountability for the Biden administration abuses like sicking the feds on parents who wanted to protest their kids' education at school boards. Third, we can take steps to begin to turn around some of these problems. For instance, I think we should pursue an energy independence agenda. We have a lot of Democrats up for re-election in 2024 from states like New Mexico and Montana and Ohio and Pennsylvania and West Virginia who might want to think twice about continuing this war on fossil fuels. So we can't stop all of the problems of the Biden administration as long as he's president, but we can begin to reverse the damage Tuesday night. Well, you have a new book out, like you mentioned earlier, that gives a roadmap to that. It is called, you can see it right here, Only the Strong, Reversing the Left's Plot to Sabotage American Power, available in bookstores now. But, Senator, can we actually undo the damage that the left has done to our country, not just in the last two years, but over the course of the last few decades? Yeah, Todd, I'm confident we can. You know, one thing that really became clear to me as I was writing Only the Strong is just how badly the progressive left in the Vietnam era and the Carter presidency had damaged American power. I mean, we had record high inflation. Soviet communism was rampaging around the world. Our streets were unsafe. A lot of similarities today that you had back then when Joe Biden was a young senator helping Jimmy, Jimmy Carter enact his disastrous agenda. It only took one strong leader, Ronald Reagan, to help reverse that damage, not only make America prosperous again, but literally beat our chief adversary so badly, the Soviet Union, that it ceased to exist. So I'm confident that the American people electing the right leaders can help turn this around. Yeah, we just had Brian, uh, Brian Kilmeade on the show, and he was in the studio, and he said that he's already reading your book, and he said it's great, and everybody should pick up a copy. So you have that endorsement, an endorsement from us as well with the book. Uh, you also say it's declined by design. I mean, uh, Biden and Obama, the way they handled um, you know, being the leader of America, remember the uh, apology tours, you say it's declined by design. What does that mean? So going back 100 years to Woodrow Wilson and the beginning of the progressive movement, it, you know, the progressive left, like Wilson, explicitly repudiates America's founding principles. By the Vietnam era, they were blaming America first and ex ex repudiating America itself. And when the progressive left is at best ambivalent about America and our history and our role in the world, they are therefore openly hostile to the sources of American power, like a strong military yeah. or a prosperous economy. They don't
much, especially Barack Obama, but every now and then the mask slips off when he said he wanted to fundamentally transform America. Right. Who uh, wants to fundamentally transform a something they to love? to restore America sounds like an important book to me. Senator, thank you. Thank you, Senator. Fox and Friends starts right now.